The Ohio Bobcats rolled into the postseason at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for the MAC quarterfinal with a seed they're familiar with. The Bobcats finished as the fifth seed in the conference, and the last time they entered the tournament as the five seed, they took it home. If Ohio wanted to repeat history, it would first have to take down the Ball State Cardinals, who came out swinging. Ball State opened the game on a 10-4 run with physical play on both ends of the floor. Ohio forward Dwight Wilson said the inexperience from the young Bobcats was exposed early. A lot of people on this team hadn't been in that position before, so, you know, I thought I just kept telling everybody, like, you know, the first war is over, you know, we settled down, you know, let's play our ball. One Bobcat who got used to the bright lights quickly was freshman guard A.J. Brown. Brown jump-started Ohio's offense with 17 points in the first half, knocking down deep threes like this one. <laughs> Head coach Jeff Bowles said with the talent that Brown has, it was just a matter of time for him to take over. I'm just proud of him for really staying positive. You know, his attitude has been unbelievable. Uh, he's, a, he's a phenomenal young man, great family. And, uh, you know, at some point we knew you know, he was going to do this. The shooting was contagious for the Bobcats, who finished the first half going 59% from the field. On the other end of the floor, Ohio wreaked havoc by disrupting passing lanes. The Bobcats tallied 10 steals on the day, leading to fast break opportunities for a red-hot offense. Brown used one word to describe the defensive effort. Activity. We were very active. We was locked in. We was in the right spots at the right times. And just playing with that grit, playing with that toughness, um, getting those loose balls, the championship plays, really get, um, put us out on top. The Bobcats roared into the locker room with a 54-32 lead. <laughs> and that momentum carried them in the second half, running away with a 90-70 round one victory. Brown finished with a career-high 28 points off the bench. Bowles said the team's depth makes them dangerous. Our bench has been really good. You know, for us all year long, we, we feel like we have a deep team. Um, you know, certain guys come in certain nights and step up. The Bobcats will need production from everywhere in their semifinal contest against the Toledo Rockets, who entered the MAC tournament as the second highest scoring team in the country. For Bobcat Showcase, I'm Aiden Crowley in Cleveland.